In this tutorial, we will walk you through a basic thermal simulation of a heatsink using the document called Discovery Heatsink A. To start the thermal analysis, click on Create Solution. Make sure Thermal Study is set and the material is aluminum, then click Create. Rotate the model and select the bottom face to apply a new heat flow of 40 watts. Immediately, you can see the maximum temperature of near 36 degrees on the heatsink. Let's add a calculated value so we can track the maximum temperature throughout design changes. Under the Solutions panel, click the Calculator button in the bottom middle. Make sure the value is set to max temperature in the volume and make sure Chart is selected, then click Create. To move the model in a front view for a geometry change, click the blue Z button in the bottom left of your screen. Next, box select the upper five ends of the heat sink, then hold down control to box select the opposing faces on the heat sink. If you rotate your model, you should see all ten faces selected. Under the Design tab, click the Move tool, then under the Small Gear, click a small button to instigate a symmetric move. Dragging the red arrow will either increase or decrease the overall width. In my model, this lowered the maximum temperature by roughly one degree. A second geometry change we will make is to shrink the model in the Y direction. To do this, go into the Design tab and click Pull. Select the solid from the structure tree in the upper right, then click the Direction button in the upper left corner. Select the top face of the model to indicate we want to stretch in that direction. Next, click a small scale button in the upper left, and holding down the control key, select any scale point near the bottom of the model. Drag up or down to either expand or shrink the model. Before letting go of your mouse, hit the space bar, then type in 0.8 to shrink the overall height. Next, let's remove some material from the center of the heatsink. Under the Sketch Tools, click Circle on the far right, then click the front face of the heatsink. Click towards the top center of the heatsink and type in 5 and hit Enter. Next, under the Design tab, click the Pull tool and drag that newly created face all the way through to make a clean hole. Next, be sure to select the axis of the hole and not the face of the hole itself. Select the Direction tool in the upper left to indicate which direction to pull. Then select the top face of the heatsink. As you drag down, this will create a slot in the heatsink that will create more surface area and hopefully remove more heat. Again, you can see the overall effect of this change, and in my model, the temperature actually went up a slight amount. A final study will be to place the heat sink in a simulated wind tunnel to further study heat transfer effects. In the Solutions box, click Solution, and let's create an external fluid study made of air. Click Create, then the leftmost green arrow, then the bottom face to initiate the study. You'll notice Discovery Live has made an initial assumption for the flow velocity. Let's add some more conditions. From the structure tree, click the solid body. Then right-click anywhere on the screen to add a new temperature of 30 degrees. Next, right-click anywhere on the screen again and verify Allow Enclosure Selection is in fact selected. Click the leftmost face of the enclosure and add a new temperature of 20 degrees. To see what's happening with the temperature, let's change the current result from velocity to temperature and the results display from surface to composite. You can also change the color display at any time from banded to smooth transition. Feel free to make any geometry changes to explore the effects on heat transfer. You can also right click to add gravity effects or change the simulation inputs and test what happens if a fan were to turn off and the velocity suddenly drops to zero. Thank you for watching, and for more information or helpful tutorials like this, please visit ansys.com discovery.